Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, Mixed Girl POV, where I share my point of view on what's good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, but please hit that like button. Please comment in the comment section below. And also, please share this video. Let's grow together. Thank you so much. How I used to be a Democrat. Let's talk. I said in my announcement about this special video series that I am far away from where I used to be. Thinking about it, I'm not sure if far was the best word to use, but I have definitely come a long way to say the least. I would like to tell you a little bit more about myself. I am an interracial person whose mother is primarily of African American descent and my father is interracial himself. My father had a Caucasian American father and an interracial Japanese and Chinese mother who was originally born overseas. My father himself was born in Japan. With my mother being an African American, as with many African Americans in our country, she was and is heavily grounded in the Democratic Party. She did her absolute best to instill that in me, her beliefs. I believe that she wanted to do her part to ensure that I would be a lifelong Democrat. She would have talks with me about this and that politically, socially, civilly, and the like. I'm sure many of your parents had those kinds of talks with you while you were coming up. I believe that my mother views everything from a victim standpoint and that everything that's bad is someone else's fault or it's a group of people's fault that things are the way they are. She doesn't really blame the person for the things that may be wrong in their personal life or their community, their state, or with our country. I did spend my teen years and early adult years believing that the Democrats were the party with all of the answers. I believed that the Democrats had all of the solutions to the problems in our lives, within our communities, within our states, and within our country. My parents divorced when I was very young and my mother had primary custody of me. My mom instilled a lot of democratic beliefs inside of me. I also was brought up as a Christian and I still am a Christian today. Eventually, certain things began to concern me about the Democratic Party, about their message, about their solutions to our problems. My mind used to just kind of go along with what I was taught to believe and I just kept rolling that way. It was like I was on autopilot or something. It was like I was blind. Like walking around with my eyes closed. 
I saw the things that were problems, but I only saw them through the lens of the Democratic Party. I wasn't into politics, believe it or not. <laughs> they weren't really my thing. I voted on party lines, blew all the way down the ballot. But eventually, I began to start wrestling with certain things in my mind. This was the very beginning of my journey. The journey that led me to being where I am today. I began to question why the Democrats supported certain things. I wouldn't say that I was far left, I considered myself more of a moderate Democrat. But as I began wrestling with certain things about the Democratic Party, I began moving right and began to consider myself more of a say, conservative Democrat or a right-leaning Democrat. This was when my eyes were barely opening to the truth, the real truth about things. It's good to question things. It's good to wrestle with things. That could be your awakening to the truth. At some point, we all must choose what things that our parents taught us that we will accept and carry on into our adult lives and which things we will not. Even if we do begin our adult lives on a certain path, it doesn't mean that we have to stay there. President Trump was the first Republican president that I voted for. He flipped me. I was red-pilled, as they say. You may be wondering, what things did I begin to wrestle with? What things did I have questions about or regret later on? I will share more of my journey with you in these special upcoming videos. Thank you so much for tuning in to my first How I Used to to be video. So let's talk. Were you a Democrat at some point before in your life? Why did you change political parties? If you're currently a Democrat, have you ever wondered if that party really is the best fit for you? Do you know someone who has switched political parties? Why did they do so? Have any other thoughts that you'd like to share? Please comment in the comment section below and I'll see you there.